So it's hard to judge what it is still. Do you want to... Ah! Our zombie villagers are trying to hit me off the edge. Hello, and welcome back to another Legitimate Land of me, Lucas, the Legitimate Hawker. We are once again here, Kaylee and Luca joining. The sun is just coming up on a new hard day of building. So, if you the plan for today, we'll go, try and go straight in, is we're all going to be building mini games. Luke's got one right over there. Kaylee has one beyond the arena over there. And we'll check those out at the end. So, are you two going to go straight into it? Yeah, indeed. Okay. And I will be building my... Oh, oh someone's ruined the beetroot farm. There's a farm going on here as well. Farm's all nice and set up. Those were beet potatoes. Those were potatoes, so I have changed them to carrots since the last episode. But if you're wondering where I'm going, I'm going here because I believe there's... Here it is. So if you didn't know, my sword got this. And I hated it. So I am going to disenchant it. And... In Chant it again, along with this pickaxe, which will hopefully give me efficiency, because where I'm going, I will definitely need efficiency. I need to quickly stop up at the magic shop. Oh, it's not really a shop, it's more like the magic house, which no one would expect. Going down here. Let's start off with the pickaxe. So we get... Unbreaking, efficiency, silk touch, uh, I don't really want silk touch, because that means you have to smelt more. We'll go for, and hopefully get something else. Oh, we just get silk touch. That was a very bad move there, because it means I now have to wait for this. It means it's not going to give me any time efficiency. Sharpness 3, that's a bit better. Oh, it's just Sharpness 3, so again, it wasn't... I've sometimes got Sharpness 4, Fire Aspect 2, Knockback 2, and 1 Enchantment. So that isn't brilliant. It's like the enchanting tape hates me. But if I come down here... So I'm sorry if I sneeze or sniffle because I'm not feeling great today. If I... I don't know what it is, but I think it might be just hay fever, but I tend not to get it that far. But if I go over here, there's the arena in all its glory. And here is what everyone thinks is a giant swimming pool. At the most, it's about 53 blocks long here, including the wall bit I've cut out ready, and about 25, 27 blocks wide. So, it's not the smallest of things, that's for sure. So, here we go. Getting ready to prepare to build. I think the first thing I need to do is, you see all these gaps? I need to fill them in with glowstone. Try and get it all done here. Yes. All of this will be filled in with glowstone or the gaps. This is smooth stone, by the way. I've already filled that in because I needed to see how I wanted the layout. So if you're wondering what this giant swimming pool is going to be for, it's going to be for a game of sharks and... Hang on. It's going to be for a giant game of sharks and fish it's going to have. So we're going to have a middle bit there where someone's going to be randomly drawn to be the shark and then everyone else has to run away and survive for a certain amount of time. I'm currently thinking a minute and a half but I might change that depending on the difficulty. I also need to try and get some depth strider boots because that's what the shark will have as a small advantage. So I don't know what Kaylee and Luke are going to be building but I am going to ask what what can it what can you give us any clues to it can you give us any little clues to your game you're building so it's a, so they're both race games 
My game's just totally different to survival. By the way, this is technically as well Kayla's game because she suggested she wanted an underwater game. So I came up with this idea because of the Minathon she won previously. Go check that out. I'll leave that in the description. It was one of the most painful days I've ever had. Don't remind me. Just seriously, please don't remind me. Only handy thing about the silk touch at the moment is if I actually misplace something, at least I get to keep it. That silk touch is actually paying off. I'm name some of the materials so we can kind of get an idea on what it might look like. To me, this sounds like a parkour game where there's a good chance of dying. Ooh. Luke, can you hear me there? Yeah, I can. You keep muting yourself. Oh. But I was going to ask, can you name some of the materials your thing's using to try and paint us a picture or make us guess here? So some redstone and fences. Mm, that doesn't give a lot. It sounds like it's again some race game, isn't it? Like Kaylee's. Now that I've finished with the glowstone so we can see the pattern, everything with glowstone on will now get glass built up on top of it. Therefore, it looks like there's glowstone on the floor. Plus, when you go under, you can't see through. You just see through it, and it's kind of like a bit of an invisible wall. So, as you can see, I have done all the glass. Wait, I also put it a bit one block higher, so people can't just hop out for no apparent reason. One slight problem I've discovered is a drowned has spawned in my under here. Let's quickly get this here. Now I'm going to be building up the wall, which is actually going to be a lot easier than I thought, because there's no water here. And the thing is, I'm wasting lots of blocks, though. So. so I build up, I'll build up one wall and then I'll cut ahead to when I've done all the walls. I just thought it was a bit underwater, I've missed. She know, do that. Yeah, I'll do it now. Put some more smooth stone so I can quickly finish the side of here. And I'll cut ahead till when I've done all the wall. How I have done all the wall, I've decided to add in the middle the strip a strip of glowstone just for effect. The sun's going down now. Does everyone want to quickly go to sleep? Does everyone want? Kaylee, want to go to sleep quickly? Just to let you know, next time, now when I, hang on, I'm going to have to strip a bit of water there. 
but now I'm going to be adding the roof. So I'm going to add all of this. I'll put some stairs there in a second. So tomorrow morning you will see this beautiful ceiling on top of here. But for now I've got to get to sleep. Because everyone else wants to. Big chickens. As you can see I have finally finished it. I have built, I've built the ceiling. I've got this little dome that comes up here. So if I push here, oops, I can push the button. Yeah, there we go, and I'm in. So at the start, you've got this little island. This button will allow you to will decide who will be the shark and who, and everyone else will be the fishes. The second that button's pushed, everyone has to run away, and the shark will chase them. One thing I found out is by using putting soul sand in your your bubble air bubbles regenerate or go up. So that's a so those are the breathing holes. And the objective is you've got to try and swim around without the shark catching you. I'm really dumb by the way. Do you want me to come over and in a second I'll come over and have a look. See air bubbles regenerate. So. So that is every. So that is how the, my game is. Just to quickly break the trap door so I can get out. In the event someone dies, they let them out. You've got these glass cracks here, so you can see some of the action. If you're dead, and I think that concludes it. If I, which hill? Where's the best place to go for a good look? Here I am on the top of the hill, and there it is. It looks a bit weird, but I think it looks quite nice actually. The glowstone illuminates it well. I'm just thinking, what the arena has? The arena's got torches, so I might try and put glowstone in it to make it look really good with the lighting. I can kind of see Luke's thing, but it doesn't seem to be much there, so it's hard to judge what it is. Still, do you want to ah? Oh, zombie villagers trying to hit me off the edge. And I can't see Kaylee from here. How close are you two from being done? Quite close. Yeah. So, I guess I'll cut ahead into the video when they are both ready. So, Kaylee, are you going to give us any more information about yours? No. Oh. Luke, you're going to give us any information about yours? No. Nope. Luke being very secretive here. So, we're back, and Kaylee has apparently just finished, so we are going to go check her build. We're going to check her game out now. An enderman just died here, and there's a piece of dirt and an ender pearl. How handy. Now I know she built hers near a ravine, so there might be something about that. We just have to check out the PvP arena. So let's go see what Kaylee has built. I had to quickly go get some water there. So I see some mossy cobblestone. I think there's also lava involved because Kaylee has died a few times to lava. Now she just keeps falling into the ravine. Oh, it's so nice for the rain. It's so Hello. nice. I know, it's so nice that the rain stopped. Hello, Kaylee. So this is my maze. Hang on. Where's the, where's the start? Okay, the start. Because I don't want to jump in here and find out there's lava. No, there's not, don't worry. There's not lava in the maze. So basically, you start, like, one end, and Luke starts the other. And then when I say go, you both open the door, and you start the maze. Do you see that little towel bit over the gear? No, because I fell in. Oh. Can I dig out? Uh, yeah. I'm just going to place I think you've got one of the blocks. Oh. Yep, come on, you. And we've got to get... get. Is this more or less like maze running? Oh, no, this is just the start. 
you crouch and look over the edge, you'll see there's a lot down there. Hang on, we've got a giant maze. Is there parkour or something? Yeah, it's got quite a bit of parkour, so... I can't. Like, so you pick the maze, you get to here. Yes. So go up the ladder. I do have valuables, so I don't want to die. Don't worry, you won't have Oh, goodness. Do I have to jump across the thing here? Oh. But yes, you come across this path, you follow the torches. Follow the torches. So there's just a torch on the other side, so I struggle to... I almost hit the ground there. And here you can um, reset your spawn point, so you don't die. So what, this is what you've got to do, you've got to fill up the glass. Don't do it yet, because you don't want to die. I'm not going to do it. Yeah, you've got to fill up the glass, and then you can fill up the glass, and then you just work out the ladders and stuff. And then, oh, I see the way out. There's a way out. Now, how do we get out? Don't tell me I have to do the challenge to get out. Yeah. Uh, do I dare risk it with the stuff I have? Oh, I'm an ender pearl. I thought I was a god of there. The way out, yeah. Ah, uh, so we so next episode we're gonna have a big race, are we, Kaylee? Yes. Did you see at the very top of the chest? Yes, I saw the chest before I dropped down. Basically, in that chest there are three underpearls which I found, and the first person to get those underpearls wins. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh. I do have one question: Is the sand go with the maze? Is the sand going to be? The floor. Ow, again. I fail. Yeah. How close are you to being done then, Luke? Uh, I've finished it. I'm just testing it out. So I haven't tried it yet. Just um. got to test it. I think there might be a block in the way. I didn't bring armour today. I see the problem here. Oh, the sand. Good job I... That didn't fall on me. <gasps> I did it! I made it to the top! <gasps> oh. <laughs> so that's Kaylee's... I don't... Has it got a name yet or not? Kaylee Run. So did you say Kaylee Run? So Kaylee, what's the game called? Kaylee Run. Oh, Kaylee Run. So this is Kaylee Run. It seems interesting. So we'll cut ahead to when Luke's finished and we'll see how his game is. So we... have I've just found out Luke has finished his Luke has finally just finished his game, so I'm just heading over now. I'm over here for a big reveal. I'm gonna go up the hill and we can see from a bit of a distance there, from a good view, what it looks like. And it's looks like a farm. Oh there's is it a pig race? Two people 
people go against each other and you have to go you have to go around here. If you go anywhere, you Hang on, I'm, I'm low on hunger. Oh no. And what if our pig happens to um become a bit cooked? Or bacon. Well you'll you'll be out of the game. Look, can I just ask you a question? If you fall in this hole, how are you supposed to get myself? You die. Oh. Yes, but let's say we're riding. Okay, I think now I want to get somewhere a bit safer. See that Kaylee, as Luke tries to rescue Kaylee, I think now's a good time to end the video. Next week we'll be playing, so next episode we'll be playing all these games. So definitely stay tuned because that will be coming out. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!